Welcome back to the Comic Palooza special at Bedrock City Comics. We are back talking Comic Palooza at Bedrock City Comic Book Store, and the owner of Bedrock is with me now. Richard, thank you for being here. It's good to be here. It's fun. Well, so Comic Palooza coming up. Obviously, you guys will have a big presence there. Talk about what you guys will have in store. Well, you know, we've always promoted this, this show. It's the big kind of pop culture event in, for Houston. Uh, we travel around the country and go to these conventions all the time, but it's really cool that John's doing one here and doing one sizable and great. You know, our big deal is, you know, kind of promoting it. We, we promote this whole kind of nerd geek culture thing. It's what we do, and so to have an event like that, it's great for us to be able to promote it and be a part of it, and we're really looking forward to it. Well, some uh, things to be excited about this month. We were just talking about it. Spider-Man's out this week. Right. I mean, a, a lot Spider-Man, of- Godzilla next week, the X-Men movie uh, on the 23rd. We've got free comic book day on Saturday, which is kind of a big comic book deal with all the publishers giving away comics, and we'll have free stuff all day. And then we have a big sale the second week in May. So, yeah, it's it's kind of comic book month for us. And you have one of the coolest, or two of the coolest comic books I've ever seen. Yeah. Tell, tell us what you've got here. This is really neat. That's the first, well, let me see if I can hold this up. That's the first issue of The Amazing Spider-Man. It's the first appearance, Amazing Fantasy 15. And uh, that's the first issue of The Fantastic Four. And uh, we're going to have this this kind of stuff on display and for sale at the show. All right. It's kind of what we specialize in, so. Tell me what these would cost. Um, well, this one's listed, the Fantastic Four is listed for sale on our website right now for $145,000. Unbelievable. Yeah, and the Spider-Man, that one's $45,000. So. I like works yeah. of art. Yeah, well, they're just, they're important pieces of kind of pop culture history. I mean, yeah. Spider-Man's known by just about everybody in the world and uh, you know the same with Superman and Batman and those characters are iconic and important to people all over all over I mean everybody everybody identifies or relates or knows or has some some kind of connection to them in some way or the other so what do you think of the comic book scene here in Houston it's you know Houston's interesting because um, Houston had one of the earliest comic book conventions in 1967 there's been a really vibrant uh, comic collecting community here all the way going back. I used to work at a comic book store that was downtown. I started working there in 1978, a place called Camelot. We opened in 1990, and we've kind of got to continue that tradition. I mean, uh, we're kind of known nationally as, uh, you know, a cool place to go find old, rare stuff because all the old collectors kept it here. It's kind of neat. It's very cool. Richard, thank you for joining us. Absolutely. We look forward to seeing you at Comic Palooza, and now I'm going to send it over to Charles was a local artist with them. Brooke, I'm here with Trenton Dole Hancock, an artist well known in the Houston fine art scene. Trenton, I know you draw some of your inspiration from comics. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? Um, yeah, I grew up looking at comics uh, like any other kid, but uh, I had real big aspirations of being a comic book artist. And then I went to school and became a painter, and I started incorporating some of uh, what I learned as a comic book artist into my paintings. That's awesome. So, Comic Palooza, this is going to be your first uh, co- comic convention as an artist. Is there what are you feeling? Are you anticipating it? Nervous? I'm not really nervous. I'm really excited, actually, yeah. because it's a whole different kind of crowd, and I'm uh, excited to introduce my work to a whole new set of people. So. That's awesome. Where can our viewers go to find out more about you and your work? Um, you can go to jamescohangallery.com, or um, you can go to the uh, Contemporary Art Museum here in Houston, where I actually have a show up right now. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, really appreciate your time. Thank you for being here. Uh, we'll be right back with more of our Comic Palooza special. You're watching the Comic Palooza special at Bedrock City Comics. The Comic Palooza special is brought to you by the Game Fanatics. United We Game. Community, weeknights at 11 on The Cube. TV for you. Ready to unwind from your daily grind? I hear that. <laughs> Park it right here for Cube Happy Hour. The party starts weeknights at 6 with The Cleveland Show. Party over here. Then King of the Hill at 6.30. Tune in weeknights from 6 to 7 on The Cube. TV for you. Welcome back to the Comic Palooza special at Bedrock City Comics. So Charles, this Comic Palooza special has been a blast. I mean, mean, people getting dressed up, we've had some awesome interviews, uh, and you actually were at Comic Palooza last year, so you know what this is all about. (laughs) Yeah, I was at Comic Palooza last year, Brooke. It was pretty cool. I saw some really awesome stuff and some not so awesome stuff. (laughs) Uh, Take a look at this, guys. Last year at Comic Palooza, the cube was on hand in full force. 
folks headed to the Q booth to win lots of cool prizes and giveaways. It looks fantastic. That's awesome. The Dark Knight, Deadpool, Iron Man, and even Darth Vader. What? Moving on. Comic book fans could cash in on amazing deals and take pictures with not too shabby representations of their favorite comic book heroes. Okay, he's not from a comic book, but he's still pretty awesome. Back to cosplay, or should I say, cars play. Ahoy, Captain Sparrow. There's Scarlet Witch and uh, oh, hey, Black Widow. More cosplay. And mustaches. And body painting. We had a blast at Comic Palooza last year and hope to see you there later this month. Big hug to Channel 57. Well, if you know anything about cosplay, then you know Marie Dahl, who is with us now. And Marie, of course, is going to be at Comic Palooza. So who are you going to be cosplaying at Comic Palooza this year? Well, I plan on bringing four cosplays. Two of them will be uh, anime characters. One is Love War Luca from Vocaloid, and the other one is Stocking from Pantene Stocking. And the other two are secret cosplays. All right, so you got to go to Comic Palooza to find out. Secrets, we love them. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so what is your favorite cosplay? My favorite cosplay usually depends on how comfortable it is. Sakura from Street Fighter. That is cool. That's cool. Well, Charles, I feel like we should have cosplayed. We we're, were we got Comic Palooza to do that, right? Yes, we do. We do. That's right. And you can go to comicpalooza.com for more information. We encourage you to check it out. We encourage you to go to the George Brown Convention Center Memorial Day weekend. Thank you so much for joining us for our Comic Palooza special. The Comic Palooza Special at Bedrock City Comics. The Comic Palooza Special is brought to you by the Game Fanatics. United We Game.